All right, everybody, please welcome Marseille Martin. Now, let me tell you something. This young lady has also won seven NAACP Image Awards. You founded a production company called Genius Productions, where you already have a staff of six. You're the youngest filmmaker to receive a production deal ever. What? Now look, when did you decide to become such a boss? You know, being a boss is like relative. <laughs> so, in my family, like, I was like born like around bosses and leaders of their own stuff. So I feel like that's just in my genes, you know? You know, like when you like feel it? Really? Yeah. All right, well, let's talk about this film you got because it's called Little. It, mm -hmm. Tell us what it's about and how you came up with the concept. Well, long story short, my mom's favorite movie growing up was Big, starring Tom Hanks. And, you know, my parents, they showed me, like, classical films, movies, and one of them was Big. And I saw it, and I was like, what if we change this into, like, a modern perspective, more of a fresh take, and maybe have a female empowerment all-black guest, you know? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so... Now that we have Little coming out on April 12th, uh, it's about a teen mogul, or not a teen mogul, a tech mogul that <laughs> has her own company and all the employees that work uh, for her don't really like her because she's, she's really mean. She's not the nicest person to work with. So one day someone uh, takes it the wrong way. She gets into an argument with like a 10 year old and wishes her Little to go back into her true self and who she really was, and which was me. Wow. Yeah. Let, let me ask you this. Because it takes courage to do what you do. I've been in a lot of pitch meetings. When you were pitching the idea that you had, were you afraid that they wouldn't take it seriously? How do people react when you walk in a room? I pitched the film when I was 10. I didn't really know what nervous and being afraid was. So I was like, I don't know who I am, man. Like, I got this, <laughs> like, suit on. I'm ready to go, you know? <laughs> I had that type of vibe where it was like, Psh, they're just people. I could just talk to them about anything, so. Yeah, that's, it's so good to be 10. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm way nervous now than when I was at 10, so. Oh, yeah, because yeah. now you understand. Now, because... like, now I know my surroundings. I'm right. Sure, so. And let's talk to you about this, because this movie also stars uh, Issa Rae, Regina Hall, <laughs> and there's a... Uh, and a cameo by one of my favorite people, Tracy Ellis Ross. <laughs> one of my favorite people, man. <laughs> It's both produced and directed by African-American females. Yeah. Uh, are, are you hoping to inspire people with this film? Yes, of course, in many ways. There's so many great and powerful meanings into the film, but just having like, an all-black cast and just being more diverse and inclusive in everything that we do, we just want to inspire people like from any age, any nationality that, you know, you can actually do this. And I think leading by example, people will understand that they can do whatever they want. So this was, this was great. <laughs> What's next for you? What, what are you thinking of doing? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot. It's a lot of yeah. things in the pipeline now. More blackish, of course, you know, yeah. you get to see blackish more. Yeah. And just to keep on moving forward to doing what I love. I'm planning to do this for a long time, so. My grandson is, he'll be four. Oh. Pretty soon. And uh, if you're not dating anybody in... <laughs> Fifteen, twenty years. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we're gonna be playing a little game with uh, Marseille. So don't go away. When we come back, we'll find out what it is. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy. So just click to watch the next one, and make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.